I am here to talk about this Pisces moon today. So, as you can see, this is my chart. My slip is showing. This is my VPL. Uh, Taurus. Wait, oh, this is how I do that. Taurus. All oh, this stuff in Virgo and Capricorn Sun. This pretty triangle is all my Earth energy. <laughs> so, gosh. I could not sleep last night. I never have a hard time sleeping. Um, I've been foggy, like misty headed all day. And I just feel cry. I, I am, um, can, does this work? Can I show you what I'm painting? Here I am doing my painting and I'm painting my Aunt Lori's suede jacket with the fur on it from the 1970s, which she said something like she paid three or four hundred dollars for it then, and I have it. And this model that I hired, who I love, was wearing it. And as I'm painting, just like the collar and the sleeve of it, I'm getting teary eyed, and I'm like, this Pisces energy is ridic. But also, if you see, let's see, my south node in Pisces and my north node in Virgo, I have dealt with some of the more evil parts of uh, Pisces energy, which are escapism and um, losing yourself and others and things like that. And um, I'm here to be Virgoing in the fifth house, which is what I'm doing here in the studio today. But, um, so I'm just saying, if you have a lot of Pisces energy or if you can feel Pisces moon or Pisces season, oh my gosh, Pisces season, ouch. But what it is, is about integration, like that Aquarius stuff, that Aquarius full moon that will bring a lot of thinky thinky and you need the water to integrate all that um, intellectual energy into who and what you are in your body, in your energy, and that's what Pisces is good for. So the way I have found to utilize instead of escape or fear that emotional energy is to do artwork, uh, put music on, Pisces energy, water energy likes uh, art, so use that and then it that will help it do its job which is kind of like to take out the poison or to bring out the magic that's what it's good at it's um a conduit 